Welcome back to the Nairobi County Stadium for the second match of the afternoon in your double header treat. Uh, Mother United is taking on uh, AFC Leopards, former champion Mother United versus multiple champion uh, AFC Leopards. Uh, I think the Leopards also calculating on where they should be going through. This is uh, Noah Fuller on the right side as a beaten is marker. The cross is a good one. Oh, it's parried off uh, by the goalkeeper Petro Diambo. But a perfect chance for the Leopards to try and uh, take the lead in this game. And Diallo angles himself correctly, gets the ball correctly. It's the save that denies him. And a fingertip save on the left hand, uh, Gilbert. Oh, this one takes the post. Uh, even as Kasaya thought it had already gone uh, off the field of play. Uh, that concentration usually becomes a very important aspect of the game as well. But it's going to be a corner. Good ball down on the right side. Uh, Ruanyoni ultimately in the position the coach wanted him to get into. This one cleared on the line by Mr. Owino. From a sofa Parker man who also played in Tanzania. Uh, again, Abish brings the ball to the midfield. Trying to get a chance to go for a shot. Towards goal, it's in the net. Just from the build up from the midfield. And Yvonne Isuza has worked so hard to try and get that ball into the net. The defense then caught napping there. They just do not clear the ball. Uh, and Vivon Isuza latches onto a neat through ball. Slots it in on the left foot. Uh, Jimmy Abdallah again. Seda. Uh, and uh, Mongolia has a little touch of the ball. Can Abdallah get to it? Yes, it does. Uh, and executes a cross as well. This one's headed out by Owino. It's going to be a corner. Uh, and it is for the Leopards. Are controlled right on the line and beautifully floated into the area. Well, Wanyoni hastens it forward. Diallo doesn't turn on time, but then rallies to pick up position again. Now that's a better move by Diallo. And to Wanyoni, uh, rather to Noah Fuller, turns it onto his favorite right foot, tries to set it up. Here is a chance for a shot by Diallo, stopped again by Pedro Diambo. I don't think Diallo caught it with the full power that he wanted. It's no wonder that he's wincing in pain probably for a little grazing on his shin guard. But he was well poised for a shot here. That's about nine minutes ago. Lovely save by Kasaya. On a shot that comes quite unexpectedly. I think they well, will. 11 minutes ago, they made a substitution for Ndungwa. But look at this one, quite unexpected. But you're wondering, again, the defense not marking as is expected. Well, I think at uh, this particular point, uh, they might want to sacrifice Juma Abdallah. And then to Juma. Where is it nicely? Here is a shot towards goal. Oh, the goalkeeper flops it. Oh, this uh, will be Karim Ndungwa's chance, but a foul on the goalkeeper. The whistle has gone. He tried to stop it into the net, but the very first time that the Leopards have come close, the goalkeeper was fluffing it. It's going to be a throwing for the Leopards. Uh, then Khalid Juma launches onto a loose ball. He's got out on the right side, goes for a shot, it's in the net! Oh, it's one of the most beautiful goals in contention for the goal of the season! What a super substitution by Stravko Longa Rusic! Suddenly gives the Leopards fans something to blow the Vuvuzela for. But uh, the Leopards pick up position again. Seda brings it onto the left side. This is Wanyoni for a shot towards Gona. Again, uh, tempting Odiambo. And it's looking like that left side of Odiambo is the side that he has not expected the ball to be going to, Gilbert. So that's the way it goes in the 14th round. Magari United 1, Leopards 1, it's full time.